Uh, Ryan Chambers, I uh, work for the Welsh Rugby Union, sports scientist. Uh, I'm over here today to talk about training load and how that looks in Elite Rugby Union. Uh, so uh, typically what we look at in, in rugby is we look at uh, internal and external training loads, so obviously our internal looking at heart rate, RPE, and then looking at our external then being perhaps GPS and our initial, and then also perhaps uh, tonnage and what we do inside the gym and how that sort of comes together. We look at how we're going to manage our players to make sure that they're fit enough for the game demands and how we can make sure that we manage them away from injury prevention and make sure that they're, um, they're robust enough to, to carry out for the whole season. Uh, well, what we tend to look at is obviously, I think the main ones we kind of consider is our, is our GPS metrics, where we look at distance, meets per minute, high speed running. We also look at our heart rate, so time spent in various zones, a training effect, which we get from first beat. Um, and then obviously our RP, which is obviously a, quite subjective, but it's how we kind of throw all that together then to make sure that the players, we want, we're, they're there where we want them to be, uh, and also that we're not pushing them too hard. Also then there might be a signal for us to pull back. So it allows us to kind of dictate our loads on a daily basis or on a weekly basis to make sure that we, we, we are where we need to be. Yeah, so what, we, what it gives us is, uh, so from where we're at now, is that obviously we have benchmarks of what players are doing currently uh, as international rugby players. So for a guy who's perhaps 18, 19, we can plan out where he is now to where he needs to be in perhaps four or five years time. So it gives us a, a we can actually plan that out and give himself some stepping stones essentially just to get him to that point. Um, that then also kind of fuels a bit of uh, discussion between ourselves uh, and the player. So it actually advises him on where he needs to be, where he needs to go to and what things are going to make sure gets him to the, the, gives him the best opportunity to be an elite international rugby player.